Alright guys, Will here from ZalTechReviews.com uh, Today I'm taking a look at the Ubic Dual Series 01 uh, This watch, uh, it's, I'm a bit late to the party to be honest with you <coughs> Excuse me uh, There's quite a, a few reviews out there of this watch I'm a bit late to the party because it never arrived until Oh, it was well after the start of the campaign anyway. But the campaign, it's still running and it is fully funded. So, I've got the the Apple Sour version, as you can see. And I'll give you my thought. I'll go through all the specs, give you my thoughts at the end, the usual. Right, play the intro. Right guys, the, let's get straight into it right, shall we? Uh, right, as I mentioned, they're currently live on Kickstarter. Obviously, link's in the description. Um, I think, uh, when does it finish? Oh, the first week of March anyway, so you've still got a wee bit of time left. The price of these on Kickstarter uh, right now is five hundred and eighteen dollars. Uh, before I go into the specs, I'll show you the packaging. The packaging is actually really nice. Uh, obviously, hang on a sec. I've got the apple sour, so even the packaging is different for each colorway. Hang on a sec. There, as you can see, it's green. Very green. I'll show you this. Look at that. Ooh, that's fancy. Even the pouch that you get is colour matched. That's attention to detail, isn't it? Paperwork, warranty card. Pouch, everything. Well, there's the warranty card up there, metal one. I like how that uh, slides in and out. I like that. Unique. Very nice. Let's talk about the watch. Get rid of that. Let's say, oh Christ almighty. Zoom in. Right, there we are. Zoomed in properly. Is that light on? Yes, it is. Right, I'll leave that there to the right so I can put all my crap down there. Right. Dimensions. Case diameter. These are all my own measurements, by the way. As per usual. Right, case diameter. 39.2 millimetres. A total thickness of... 11.4 millimetres. Uh, lug to lug, 46.7 millimetres and a 20 mil lug width. The total weight with this bracelet sized up for my 6.8 inch wrist is 127 grams. It's pretty damn good. Uh, the movement inside it is Miyota 9015. Uh, smooth sweep, 4 hertz, 28,800 vibrations an hour, trackable, self-winding with a 42 hour power reserve. The case itself is brushed, sandblasted and polished 316L stainless steel, which I'll quickly show you. You can see on the mid case that centre section is recessed slightly. And it has a sandblasted finish. But it's dead smooth to the touch. Uh, you have the polished surround. It goes right round like an undercut. And across the top there over the lugs. It's polished. Uh, brushed on top. Really nice. Just to give you a look there. Uh, all round. This is a prototype by the way. Uh, there are some changes that I will go through. Um, 
Right, where was I? The bracelet. The bracelet's a flat link bracelet, which I really like. It's really comfortable. It's a three link. So, very, very nice. Very comfortable, as I mentioned. Uh, quick release uh, bars on the underside, as you'd expect. Uh, brushed on top, polished on the sides. Screw pins for sizing. Now, as I mentioned, this is a prototype, so you might actually be aware, if you have back to swatch, that this clasp has changed and been upgraded to a clasp with on-the-fly adjustment, uh, which is good news. Even the clasp on this, you know, it's quite slim. It's nice. I like it, but on the fly adjustments even better, so happy days. Uh, that's everything about the, uh, the bracelet. You also get a strap with it, colour coded and all the rest of the stuff. Personally, I would wear the bracelet all the time, because I'm a bracelet guy. Uh, just seeing, just going through my notes here, I've done all that. Uh, right, the bezel. Hence the name Dual Time, or Dual Series. Um, all different colourways, but obviously mine has that apple sour green and the, the first part, or the, well, the first half of the bezel. And it's black on the outside, giving the Dual Time aspect, the inner... Well, let's see if I can zoom in a bit. You can see there, like, the 60-minute dive time. It's a 60 minute bi-directional by the way and the action is delicious. It's absolutely butterly smooth. It's really nice. Um, I kind of thought I really like that. I don't know why more brands just don't do 60, uh, 60 click. It's just so, I mean, that's lovely. As I say, bi-directional, which is handy. Especially if you're setting, you know, the dual time. If you're not using it as a die bezel, so you can use this for timing. Well, and an egg is about as far as I go. Or if I'm tracking uh, a different time zone. Luckily for me, when I have a watch like this, like the, the dual timer thing, is I can track three time zones just the way it lands. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, what's he on about? What's he smoking again? Now, when I set this up for me, I set it up like that. So I have my local time, which is here. And I also have, I also track... Uh, Singapore, and I also track a certain time zone in America. The America just happens to be five hours behind, and Singapore just happens to be seven hours ahead. So that's kind of perfect for me. I can track three time zones, which is all good. We'll just leave that like that. Because hopefully Ubic watches don't want this watch back anytime soon. Because I have been wearing it quite a bit. I gave it a bath this morning. <laughs> well, I gave it a good cleaning that for this review. Uh, so hopefully you won't see any bits of skin or dust. Or I gave it a good clean. So, aye put it back in the wrist once I've done this review that's how much I like it giving the game away <clears throat> right the bezel continuing on it, oh, it, it's loomed by the way I'll give you a loom shot in a wee bit uh, and it's an aluminium insert I think that's why if you look at all the different colourways and even on this one how well they managed to because 
I mean, to colour that and then split it in two, that's, that's not easy. And doing it on aluminium, it's a lot better to get the, the exact colour that you want. A lot harder on ceramic or sapphire. Well, I think sapphire is slightly easier than ceramic. But anyway, this is aluminium, so happy days. Uh, crystal is a flat sapphire that does have a beveled edge. Well, I'll see if you can see it on camera. Ah, you can see it there. Nice beveled edge all the way around. Flat on top, which aids with the total thickness of 11.4 mil. Uh, plenty of air coating as well. No, I didn't issue with legibility or anything like that. Perfect. Uh, the dial. Custom hands. As you can see. And the other hand is colour matched as well, which is a bonus. Nice wee splash of colour there. On this one, the apple sour, it has a grey dial, uh, a black, is that a a black uh, outer minute track and obviously you have like the black surround, well sort of gunmetal kind of surrounds on the indices and the minute hand then you have the splash of colour on the other hand and a splash of colour, the same colour on the second hand oh very nice very nice indeed all the indices are applied as you'd expect. Date at 6, which I appreciate very much. If you're going to put a date in the watch, make sure it's at 6, not 3, not 4.30, or any other stupid location. Although I don't mind 3 that much, but I prefer it at 6. Uh, right, loom. The loom on this is a combination of Swiss Superluminova C1 and BGW9 and another upgrade that they've done is it's not just normal BGW9 they've upgraded it to grade A for full production I mean that is which is all good um, ah, this is a prototype anyway so I will, I will show you the or I showed you it by now, the loom. Anyway, uh, water resistance is 200 metres. Bang on. Case back is solid. And it's very nicely done. Let's see if I can get... Oh, it's upside down, you divot. Yeah. Unique serial number, I believe. All smooth, all nice. Ah, just what you want. Perfect. Really nicely done. Uh, the crown is six mil in diameter, which is fine. Could have went a wee bit bigger, maybe, but six mil will do just fine. They are making a couple of changes to it, no the size or anything, but they, they said that they're going to do like a polished chamfer there. Oh, well, that's what that is there, is it? Anyway, plenty of grip on it. I really like the knurling on this, matches the bezel, sort of. A, does match. Aye, easy to use as well. Which is all good. And it is signed as well, by the way. Right, colour options. You've got five different colour options. Now, I went through and I've got a load of pictures, but you'll need to go to my website, link in the description, uh, and you'll, I've done a gallery for all the different colourways. The colourways are Apple Sour, which is this one, Grey dial, black bezel, green highlights, all matching, lovely jubbly. You then have the bumble, which is like yellow 
obviously a black dial uh, and you also have I think that's red highlights you have like the red surround on the triangular marker there at 12 red accent on the second hand as well as the other hand right next one we have beet red which is kind of purpley colour with orange slash red highlights I can't really work out exactly what they are but if you go to the link in the description it will take you to my website and then you'll get the link to kickstart on the full campaign and everything and you can scroll through all the information in there the last one which is no it's not the last one and the next one which is probably my favourite is the navy silver now looking at it I could be wrong right it might be a silver dial but I actually think it's a white dial and they use the name navy, uh, navy silver for the bezel because you can clearly see that the bezel is split between navy blue and silver the dial looks pure white and obviously me being a white dial slut that's my favourite that's the one I would really like to see so if you're watching this Ubik watches you have to send me that one so I can do another video on it and look over it uh, have I done this one? no the C set which is like a kinny pastel blue and orange combo now that's definitely orange so the other ones must be red is that them all? yep yeah, that's them all and that's it back to my place uh, where was I? I don't know that where to buy obviously the kickstarter campaign that's running and two year warranty fantastic aye very nice watch and this is a debut watch <clears throat> and they put a lot of th uh, thought into this watch I'll tell you that much I like the colourways nice and vibrant uh, as I say I'd really like to see that white one if it is white I'm sure it is uh, shit I've not done a a wrist shot to show you I've done other, my other B-roll but I've not done the wrist shot so give me a minute and I'll swap watches right guys there you go quick wrist shot for you fits my wrist perfect perfect size for me really like it nice bracelet nice and comfortable as I say that clasp has been changed for an even better one I'll just show you what it wears like on wrist it does sit flat hang on a sec it does I mean it sits on my wrist fine perfectly fine I like it very much so aye as a first model <coughs> excuse me as a first model uh, from Ubik Watches, congratulations. You've smashed the the goal on the campaign, the Kickstarter campaign. So well done there. So it will be fully funded. And obviously working their way through their stretch goals and whatnot. As I say, that class because it was one of the stretch goals. The loom will also be improved. Brilliant. I really, really like this watch. $518, which equates to what? About £400. I, if you get it at $518, that's perfect. I think if it goes any much, if it goes a lot higher than that, you know, when it's like retail and stuff, I think it's a bit much. Roughly $500 is pretty much bang on. I think I would be happy to pay that. Brilliant watch. Uh, debut model and it's a prototype I don't normally give out rewards for prototypes especially if it's a brand's first ever model but I mean I can't fault this it just gets better and better as the stretch goes you just get more value for your money 
So, Platinum Award. I can't fault it. I really can't fault this watch. As I say, well done, Ubik watches. You should be proud. Right, guys, that's me. I'm done for today. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Toodles!